Okay, now work energy theorem. Okay, what is actually work energy theorem? Alright, work energy theorem actually relate to uh, several uh, concepts we have learned before. First of all, it relates to this uh, kinematic equation. Okay, where do you where do you saw this? V squared equal to U squared plus 2AS. Do you remember where do you saw it? Yes, in the kinematics. Alright, let me write it down here. Okay, we saw it in the kinematic uh, kinematics equations. Okay, V squared equal to U squared plus 2AS. And then it relates to uh, net force equal to MA, which is the Newton, Newton's second law of motion. Uh, Newton's second law of motion. And then it relates to work done formula. Uh, this is the, the work done formula. Uh, so three concepts. Kinematics, Newton's second law, work done. Okay, we combine all them, we get the new formula called the work energy theorem, which is this formula. The network done equal to the change of kinetic energy. Uh, so this formula, yeah, which I written down here, uh, this is what we call the this is what we call the work uh, energy uh, theorem. Okay, uh, we yeah, uh, work energy theorem. Yeah, which is uh, also this one. Uh, so how to derive this work energy theorem? How to derive this work energy theorem? Okay, which we get we get this wonderful formula here. How to derive this formula? Uh, we derive from these three concepts. Right, we start off with these uh, kinematics equations. Okay, look at this object. You have an object, right? Okay, all right. Okay, so look at this object. Okay, uh, with initial velocity u, initial velocity u, uh, is being pushed by a net force. Of course, this object does not just have one force. Okay. Not just uh, one force, the net force. It has actually multiple forces. See, remember, we have the external force, we have the, the normal force. Yeah, remember, we, we have the we have the maybe we have external force, we have the the mg, we have the we have the what we call the normal force, we have the friction, isn't it? Uh, but we did we we don't uh, consider yeah these all forces. Yeah, we try to uh, out of all these four forces, we find the net force out of all these forces. Uh, so combine all of them, okay? Combine all of this net force, yeah, all of these four forces, we get the net force. Uh, we drop it off, we we, uh, we combine all of them, and we get this net force. Understand or not? Uh, normally this net force is also the because we normally know the total f um uh previous video we learned about the net force normally exists in the x component yeah uh yeah uh or the and then the y y component normally is zero isn't it uh so the the net force uh, is actually uh the uh total fx uh the the net force is actually the total fx this is the net force actually uh yeah total fx is actually the net force uh, so we calculate the net force. Okay, and uh, this is actually the uh, the total fx. Understand? Uh, so we got the net force there. Okay, so this net force. Okay, or, or we can say this one. Yeah, this is actually the total fx. Okay, uh, total fx. Uh, we just write total f. Yeah, the resultant force is actually equal to ma uh, because of this net force. Because of this net force, we have this acceleration. Because of this net force, we have acceleration. Newton's second law. The resultant force, uh, total F, is equal to MA. Uh, when we have the net force, we have acceleration, isn't it? Uh, we have the acceleration. And what happens if we have acceleration? What happens if we have acceleration? Uh, the velocity will change. Uh, this initial velocity will change to a final velocity there is a change of velocity isn't it ah uh, so in other words we can say when there is a net force when there is a net force uh, 
according to Newton's second law, net force equal to ma. So when we have a resultant force, the object will undergo acceleration. Uh, will undergo acceleration. Okay. When we have a net force, it will have acceleration. When you have acceleration, the velocity will change from final from initial velocity to final velocity. So there will be u and v. Okay. So because of again because we have the net force, then we have acceleration, and we have acceleration. That's why we have u and v. We have different velocity. Uh, we have different velocity and the object also moves certain displacement that's why we have s uh, yeah that's why we have s displacement so wonderfully we have the formula v square equal to u square plus 2a s uh, v square equal to u square plus 2a s so now okay so now um, this acceleration we put in front, put in front, and then uh, v square minus u square we go to the other side, and then divide by two s, right? And then what what we uh, what happened is we multiply m both sides. Uh, here we uh, multiply yeah both sides we multiply uh, multiply by mass, okay? Multiply mass at the left hand side and also multiply mass at the right hand side. Okay, so A become MA, multiply mass, get MA. This here, right hand side, multiply mass, you get uh, M and to the bracket of whatever inside. Okay, so now we here we have, uh, and then again, this formula, we multiply both sides with uh, displacement. Uh, what we do to the left hand side, we must also do likewise. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, lah, uh, actually, uh, actually, uh, to simplify things is this uh, displacement here we uh, just uh, transfer to the top yeah mu also multiply displacement both sides also can yeah uh, that means this displacement here we uh, transfer to the top here and that's why you get mas uh, yeah mas and then here we have you know uh, here we still have half uh, they have two below here yeah s only the s go above only the s go above we still have two here so this whole thing will become half mv square minus half mu square and you try and just uh, uh transfer this s to the top here and here surely you will here surely you will get half uh, the right hand side the right hand side surely will get uh, half mv square minus half mu square okay ah, so now look at this step here we have MA. What is MA? MA is the Newton's second law, uh, which is the MA is actually the net force or the resultant force, uh, the total force. Okay, it's the net force. So MA is actually the net force. Alright, so we change it to net force. And then this net force times displacement is actually net force dot displacement. Uh, F, F time, this uh, force time displacement is the Work done. Uh, and again, this is a net force. Okay, look at here. Uh, this is actually this is actually the net force. So net force, when it is a net force, uh, time displacement, when you're using a net force, then this work done should be a net work done. Uh, still remember the first thing uh, we learned about the net, to find the net work done? Uh, to find the net work done, uh, we can use the net force time work time with displacement uh, when when we uh, when it is a network done we use net force uh, yeah when we network done we use net force when it is the uh, external force we use when it is the external force work done we use external force when it is a gravitational force work done we use gravitational force when it is a normal force normal force work done we use normal force when it is a friction Friction force work done, we use friction force. Uh, when it is a, a net work done, when it's a net work done, we use net force. You see that? Net work done use net force. External external force uh, work done use external force. Frictional force work done use friction force. Uh, so what kind of work done use what kind of force? Understand? What what kind of work done use what kind of force? Uh, yeah now this time the kind of work done is a network done it's a network done so we use net force 
Uh, okay, so back to this question. And uh, back to this part, yeah? So this is a net force, isn't it? It's a net force and displacement. So what kind of force? You're using net force. You're using net force. So this is a network done. It's not other kind of work done. It's a network done. Because you use net force, you must use network done. Uh, okay? So net force and displacement become the network done. Ah, and then this half mv square is the, this is the final velocity, isn't it? Final velocity. Uh, so that's why this is the final kinetic energy, half mv square. Uh, and then this, uh, u is the initial velocity, initial velocity. So half mu square is the initial kinetic energy. Uh, so what I can say is, uh, maybe I can write over here also. Uh, this, uh, maybe I write over here. Uh, this v, this is the final velocity. Uh, so this one, we have the final kinetic over here. And about this one, u, an initial velocity. Uh, here we have the initial kinetic energy. Understand? Uh, okay. So when there is an acceleration, when there is an acceleration, you are changing from initial velocity to final velocity. Okay. And also when you have acceleration, you are changing initial kinetic energy to final kinetic energy. You understand? Uh, two different value. Initial velocity and final velocity, two different value. Initial kinetic energy and final kinetic energy, also two different value. Uh, so there is uh, actually, what I can say, when you have, uh, when you have uh, uh, acceleration, you will bring about the change of velocity. You understand? You will change, bring a change of velocity. Uh, that's why we say, uh, that's why we say uh, A equal to uh, delta V over delta T, uh, or, or we can say dV over dt, isn't it? Uh, that's why we have change of velocity. We have the final velocity minus initial velocity. Uh, when you have um, acceleration also, okay, you have acceleration also, uh, I can say is acceleration also, you have a change of kinetic energy. Uh, when you have a change of kinetic energy, you have a final kinetic minus the initial kinetic uh, to find the change in kinetic energy. You understand? Uh, okay, so that's the result of acceleration. You will change your kinetic energy, you also change your velocity. Uh, okay, so from here we can say, yeah, from here we can see um, this is the final kinetic and this is the initial kinetic. So my final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic, that's why we have change of kinetic energy. Uh, there is a change in the kinetic energy because of the acceleration, because of the net force. Because the net force brings the acceleration. Because of Newton's second law, it is the net force brings the acceleration. Uh, there's uh, net force brings the acceleration. That's why we have change in velocity and change in kinetic energy. Uh, yeah, this is change in kinetic energy. And why we have net force? When we have net force, uh, tr net force travel through a certain displacement. Net force, when we have net force, we have acceleration. Net force equal to ma, isn't it? Uh, and also we have a net force through a certain displacement. Yeah, net force through a certain displacement. That's why we have a network done. Uh, so this net force and displacement you get a network done from here. So network done equal to change in kinetic energy. Uh, this is what we call the work energy theorem. Uh, yeah, so this is what we call the work energy theorem. Understand? This, this, this equation is the work energy theorem. Uh, so work energy theorem is network done equal to the change in kinetic energy. Look at how similar is this formula with the Newton's second law. When network done cause the change in kinetic energy, when you have a net force, when you have a net force equal to ma. Ah, you see that? We have a net force, you have a network done. We have acceleration, okay, we have acceleration, you must have a change in kinetic energy. Look at how similar. Look at how similar are, are they. Ah, yeah? Net force brings the network done. Acceleration brings the change in kinetic energy. Ah, okay? So that's the work energy theorem, all right? And then now, how to find the network done? Yeah, uh, how to find the network done? Uh, I already thought about this, how to find the total. This is actually what we call the 
you can write this network done as what? Uh, you can write this network done as uh, total work done like this or you can want to write as a subscript total also can uh, or we write as network done okay so basically work energy theorem what is work energy theorem work energy theorem is the network done equal to change in kinetic energy uh, which is final kinetic minus initial kinetic or half mv square minus half mu square uh, this uh, this uh, formula normally used to find this value uh, normally ask you to find the final velocity uh, uh, given given the uh, initial velocity ask you to find the final velocity uh, yeah by using work energy theorem uh, okay find the final velocity here uh, so and then one one more questions uh, how to find the network done uh, let's say how to find this value of network done i already talked about this how to find the network done in previous video the total work done uh, how to find the network done for multiple force multiple forces very easy you have two methods to do that either you use um, uh, work done okay uh, the first method is you find the work done for individual force okay since we have uh, you see we have um, multiple of forces here we have external force normal force uh, frictional force and gravitational force we find work done for each of these forces and then we total up all the individual work done we get the network done uh, okay or we can also find the net force use the second method use the find the net force multiply with displacement cos theta uh, then we can find the network done okay to do that we use the concept we learned in the chapter forces okay we have x and y component uh, do the x and y component find out the net force in which component normally the net force in the x component okay uh, once we got the net force uh, we multiply with the displacement cause uh, normally cause zero uh, then we get the network done uh, so this is how we find the network done uh, to apply in the work energy theorem understand so uh, our formula for the network done our network done is uh, our work energy theorem is this uh, this is our work energy theorem okay so uh, what happened is uh, the formula will become like uh, network done uh, if you use the first method it can be work done by external force by work done and gravitational force work done by normal force uh, work done by frictional force okay equal to uh, change of kinetic energy is a final kinetic minus initial kinetic ah uh, like that uh, so we continue from there okay so i will show more example on this uh, in the problem videos okay how to apply how to apply the work energy theorem all right so that's all for this video okay see you